Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is giving me holiday vibes, Christmas vibes. I use the new Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palette from her holiday collection. This is the palette. I haven't ordered anything from Kylie Cosmetics in ages, but this palette had me interested, okay? Like, it looks really good. I feel like the palette, the colors, which is perfect for the holiday season, so I decided to pick it up and do its little look with it, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up on this video, and leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite palette for this holiday season 2019. There have been a lot of palettes launching, a lot. Let me know some of your favorites, and I'll see you guys in the video. All right, guys, so I primed my brows and my eyelids, and I'm gonna go into the new Kylie Dear Santa palette. This palette looks really beautiful. It's definitely nice and perfect for the holidays. It does also come with a mirror, and those are my hideous fingerprints on the mirror. I definitely did not clean my makeup brushes, but hopefully we can find some that are not too super dirty, you know? <laughs> All right, so the first color I'm going to use is Santa's Helper, which is this color right here. Also, my nails. <laughs> I'm getting a manicure tomorrow, guys. Don't judge me. All right, so I'm going to just put this. Ooh, this is very pigmented. I'm going to put this right in my crease, and I'm going to slowly blend it out. This is very creamy almost and really pigmented. Wow. The formula of these definitely has changed. I remember them not being as creamy before. Or maybe it's just this palette, I'm not sure. But the last palette I tried from Kylie was probably like a year ago. It blended really well, really easy and smooth. We're going to put some on this side. Also, it's really pigmented, which is great. I feel like this palette is really nice, especially for deeper skin tones. Because only two of these shades, I would say, is not like the best ones for us. But everything else, I'm going to go in with Treat Your Elf right here. That's a really cute name. So I'm going to take this shade... And I'm gonna put this on the edge right here. It's more of a red. I feel like you rarely ever see red shades. I just feel like they're really hard to create and to have. So this red so far looks really nice and it blends really well into the other shade. Okay, Kylie. My lashes like fall in, you guys. Like it's oh <laughs> I've been so lazy about getting a refill because I'm just such a procrastinator I'm working on it you know but I um definitely need to get one done this week all right so I'm blending these two together it looks really good I am loving the blendation I'm just patting the red shade on my eyelid and then lightly blending it out you can do this look with any palette that you own with these shades just so you know and I'm gonna just make sure these two are even when you mess with color, if something is a little bit off, everyone will notice. So you have to make sure it's like pretty similar. That looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to go into the color Jolly AF. It's similar to the last shade, but it has a slight sheen to it. So I'm going to drag it on the middle part of my eye, like right here, and drag it into the crease a little bit. I mean, the outer, I'm going to drag it into the outer part a little bit like this. The last shade I'm going to use is how nice and it's this shade right here it looks really pretty it's like a copper toned color and i'm gonna just take that on a small pencil brush and apply that right in here and i'm gonna drag it over my eyelid i'm gonna bring it like in the center of my eyelid almost this is a really pretty color it has a lot of reflex in it that you don't notice at first but once you put it on your eyelid you start to see like reds and bronzes and gold it's really really pretty there's a lot of dimension to this color, you guys. I think Miss Kylie kind of did that with this palette, though. Um, I didn't do anything. I'm loving the red glitter. I've never seen a color done like this before. I'm here for this. I'm feeling a little, you know, extra. So I'm actually going to go into one more shade. I'm going to use Holiday Season SZN. And I'm going to just put that connect that to the gold how nice shade and I'm going to just drag it over to blend it into the last um, red shade so that way it's like a transition of um, shimmery shades I mean this is one of the most Christmas palettes I own <laughs> it's very Christmasly I feel like my eyelids look like a Christmas tree like a decoration all right so for face makeup I'm going to start with my Dermablend mattifying primer 
And I'm just gonna put this in my oily areas to just get me more matte. I love this primer so far. It's so far I think it works pretty well in combination with my whole oily skin routine. So I do like it. I do recommend it. I would normally apply some powder right over this primer to help me stay extra matte. But if you must know, I am going to bed once I finish this makeup look. So I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to jump right into foundation. I'm using the Born This Way foundation in the shade Chai. Always have to give a shout out to Jackie whenever I use this foundation because, I mean... I'm going to use this sponge. This is a beauty sponge from, I think this is from Tarte actually. I've had this for years and since the foundation fiasco and I never used it. So I finally opened it when I was cleaning up my makeup the other day and it's actually pretty good. So it's bouncy. It's like a really good consistency for a sponge. So the concealer I'm going to use today is from Too Faced as well. This is in the shade Caramel from the Born This Way. Um, sculpt and concealer definitely love this concealer it's super full coverage and it works really well for my skin type I know some people hate it but I think it's really good so we're gonna just contour or like reverse contour with this and I'm gonna put some here to highlight this is the holiday season honey like we are highlighting we are slaying we are carving out our faces, period, okay? Like, we're trying to look snatched up. It's cuddle season, like, you, I mean, girl, you gotta... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just did my little routine, and I'm gonna take this powder, my Krylon powder, to set my face. I've been using this lately. This powder helps with shine control, and it helps keep you super matte, so I'm gonna use this today. I'm going to use the Too Faced powder in chai and I'm just going to put this on my face so that way it warms up my face a bit and kind of help everything mesh together. You can use any foundation powder that you love to just help your face not look so caspery and you know white. I'm going to take the Patricia Bright and Revolution Makeup pal um, Palette. This is the deepest one. I'm just going to do the contour from this palette. I'm using it kind of like a bronzer situation just to add some definition. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to do my forehead. We're trying to be snatched out uh, here. We cannot forget the jawline like no girl. <laughs> no girl. I'm going to take some blush and we're just going to put this on the cheek. Putting the same palette um, highlighter in the inner corner. I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm going to go into the shade Sansa's Helper again. This is the first shade I use. I'm going to get, I'm just going to run this under my eye and lightly blend it out. You want to be super careful when you do this because you want to make sure you do not get the brush in your eye. That's really easy to do and it's really painful. I'm gonna take some more of this shade right here, Treat Your Elf, Treat Your Elf. And I'm gonna connect right here. I'm gonna take some mascara and I'm gonna put this on my lower lash line. I'm gonna use Max Cork Lip Liner. And then I'm going to use ColourPop's Bloom to Bloom Lipstick. This is one of the velvet blurs from the newer collection. I'm going to set my face with this Olay Setting Spray. This is the Energizing one. Whoa. I'm going to say, I'm going to actually spray some of this on my sponge. And I'm going to press it into my forehead and my chin and bigger here because it looks really powdery i feel like i need a lip gloss with this look because i just feel like it's missing something this is the Too faced pretty penny high shine lip gloss all right y'all so this is the final look i love the way this look turned out i think it's perfect for the holiday season perfect for christmas hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial give me a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video bye